Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your Haunted Lovers reading for October 2022. Okay, let's see what's going to happen for you guys. Let's see if anything weird gets happened. My laptop I came flying off the stand right onto my table here when I was doing some Libra, so I had to do their reading over. So let's see, what's going on between you and someone else here? What's going on? What's the energy here? We have... Ooh, we have a tower. Ooh, we're starting out with the tower. What a way. The shock, surprise, uh, Aries Scorpio energy. We do have the Queen of Wands here. Aries Leo Sagittarius. And we have Virgo energy here. Something shocking happened. Someone found out something. It almost feels like, did someone do something? I almost feel like I don't know who this Queen of Wands is. Let me get a charm on them. It feels like this Queen of Wands, you found out this person came in. Oh, lucky Shamrock here. Hmm. Did Luckily you found out something? Or is this your energy? Okay, I'm kind of confused who this person is. Because first thing I thought that this is someone that came in between you. And that you found the answer out. You you were searching for something you found out. There's it was, it was a shocking news here. <coughs> Sorry. Completion of a cycle, the world card ending for a new beginning. Let's see what else we get on here. Okay. Why do we have the tower card? What is the tower card here? Okay, so yeah, so yeah, that's what I was feeling. I don't know why they got the lucky shamrock here. Unless you're feeling you're lucky that you found out now. But someone shocked someone by walking away. And I would say it had something to do with this Queen of Wands. Okay, could be a karmic or let's see, why is the Queen of Wands here? Ten of Cups. Okay, maybe someone sees you as the Queen of Wands. Okay, because this doesn't make it. Someone shocked someone by walking away. Maybe a marriage or a situation here. Someone did something, walked away from something because they wanted the Ten of Cups with this, this Queen of Wands here happiness okay why do we have the hermit here someone's stuck in their head someone's very confused another eight 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 there's three eights here that is lots of money it's always abundance financial abundance is is on its way to you right now with this coming up there's a change there's okay let's Okay, I'm confused, but let's see what happens. I don't have to know what I'm talking about. Long sunlight. Like <laughs> okay, let's see. The tower, Aries Scorpio entry with this Eight of Cups. Why is that here? Consistency. Okay, maybe there wasn't something that consistent, or someone was bored with something being consistent, so they walked away from it. It wasn't exciting like this Queen of Wands. Okay, <laughs> but there's something about consistency here. Why do we have this Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups? Child, oh, oh, there's a baby involved. This Queen of Wands, whether it's you, your person, or someone, somebody walked away from you because they have a child with someone else, but, and they're... Oh, okay, this is confusing. Okay, what about this eight, the hermit with the eight of swords? Hope. There's still hope. Someone is lost in their head. They're doing a lot of thinking, but there's still hope. Now, also, this maybe this isn't a real baby. Maybe this is just a birth of something, something new. Um, let's see, we have here joyfulness. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, did I put a charm on the queen of... Yeah, I did. Okay, make sure. Got the lucky charm. You have lucky shamrock. Or maybe they're saying they're Irish. I don't know. All right, I use oils, and then I have the oils on my hands always make everything so spotty. <laughs> okay, so now, let's see. What do you want? Let's see. What do you want? Hmm. You want to make a decision here, or you want someone to make a decision? Someone's not making a decision. Ooh. Abandonment left out in the cold, and then we have here. This is a page of pentacles. What? Okay, this is maybe getting some news. Wanting an offer here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get a charm on this. I hope I can figure this one out. These these have been tough readings. Okay, let's see. We have ooh a key here. Someone holds the key. Okay. 
a dead, uh, I said dead ending. Is that weird? Okay, it's an ending. Something's over. Something de dead here. I don't know why I never <laughs> dead ending. Okay, let's see. Maybe it is a dead end. Maybe someone feels like it's a dead end. Okay, why do we have the two of swords here? Okay. You want things to move along. You want things to not be at the standstill. This is what you want. You want to make a decision here. Or maybe you want to make a decision. You want them to make a decision. Why do we have this Five of Pentacles? This is like being left out in the cold. What is this? A two of Wands. Yeah. You know, I'm always figuring out you're waiting for this person to make a choice. Okay, why um is the Page of Pentacles here? Woo! What is going on? Do you want to make the decision or you want someone else to make the decision? You want a decision to be made here though. Either you don't know how to make it or you, maybe you're, maybe this is your person and they need to decide here because I would think if you really want to make a decision, you can make it. So it must be your person that you're thinking about here. Seven of Wands. You are, you feel like you are the better choice. Okay. Get some more on this. Now for this two of swords with the eight of wands. Get more clarity on that, please. Fortune. So this is luck. This is fortunate. So there's something happening here quick for you. Um, or you want this fortune? Why is a two of wands here with this? What do we have under here? Oh yeah, the five of pentacles. Why is that here? A messenger so there's gonna be some kind of message coming in for you you want to hear you want to know I think that's the whole thing is you want to know and why do we have this here the page of Pentacles which is usually a messenger and you know there's information something coming to offer here with key okay let's see young woman there's a young woman involved someone has to decide about a young woman and we have a lover Okay, I got to tell you guys, I am very confused with this reading. Let's see. These are tough ones. Okay, let's see now. Let's see. What do they want? Let's see if I make more sense after I find out what they want. What do they... Whoa, that went flying out. They definitely want this, whatever this card is. What is it here? They want... This is the Knight of Swords. They want fast movement. They want to come to someone's fast. Either you are an air sign. They might want to come to you quickly and talk to you. Let's see. Let's... A wreath. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, the Four of Swords and the Chariot. Try and... I feel like this person wants to come to you quickly and heal something with you. The wreath, I don't know what to make of the wreath. Not Christmas time. Um, I don't know, a circle. I'm not sure why that's there. Okay, we do have the Knight of, I'm oh, sorry, the Page of Cups. So this person might be coming to you with apology. Boy, are these, all these readings going to be like this? Why I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's see. What about this Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Hermit again. They want to heal this. They want to go deep within and heal this, I feel. I don't know. I'm, what I'm feeling really strongly is your person got someone else pregnant. Or is this a different sex and your person got pregnant by someone else? Ah, uh, okay, let's see. But they seem like they want you. Why is this? They, they want to heal this. We have the Four of Swords. High Priestess. Very strong spiritual connection. Um, very intuitive. Very, things very strong. There's also something hidden with the High Priestess. Okay. Oh, they want to be able to sell. They want to come to you and be able to celebrate here. This could also represent a third party. Seven of Cups having what choices, options. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the Hermit with the Knight of Swords here? 
are. They, someone is very upset about this. What happened here? Okay, what about the high priestess with the four of swords? Death, ending, new beginning. Someone wants to put an end to something here. Put an end to maybe this mystery or this hiding things. Okay, what about this um, chariot with the three of cups? Servant. So be of some service here. To, they want some, something to work out. To, okay, um, so, widow, size. Someone is quite upset. There's a lot of sadness here. Okay, guys, I'm not figuring this one out. Let's see. Let's see if we get... Where is this going? That would be a good... Where is this going? I think these readings want to get pretty deep. Where is this going? We have here the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get a charm on this. Slow. Oh, this one's, this person wants stability with you. I've got a feeling one of you guys, however this works or something, straight from this connection and someone could have got pregnant and someone had to walk away to come in or, or it could be, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling baby more than anything. It could be something new somehow here though. Or this person wants a baby with you. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Oh, does someone get migraines? I'm getting a migraine from this now. Woo. Okay, let's see. Three of Wands waiting here. And to be connected again, to come together. I think you both want to be together, but something came in between you guys. Okay. And now we have the King of Swords here. This is someone trying to figure out the best move here. Um, this is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Using their intellect to see what is the next move, the next play they need to make here. Okay, let's see. Oh, look who wanted to stay on the table. This is someone that is very passionate here. One of the most passionate cards here. That could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Someone that stayed on the table. Someone has a lot of passion here. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this Knight of Pentacles here? This person, I think, wants to come charging into you. Charging into you. <laughs> Come charging towards you. <laughs> Not charging into you. Well, maybe they want to do that too. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's what they're thinking of. Moving quickly towards you because they want this commitment. What about this three of wands? Okay. Waiting for the ending. Waiting for this to happen. Waiting for this to be over here. What about the two of cups? Knight of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's someone that has a lot of passion. Or, um, coming in quick here. Do it. Someone wants to work this out. Get the Eight of Cups here. Eight of, uh, oh my God. Eight of Pentacles. I'm having the hardest time with these readings. Oof. Okay. Why do we have, this is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Chariot, which is Cancer Energy. Why is that here? Okay. Someone is really desperate here. They're, they don't know what to do here. They're coming in quick. They might come in a little agitated towards you um, because they don't know how to handle this, how to fix this. And with three of wands with the ten of swords, frivolous. So if someone's being very frivolous. They probably just, um, they want to put an end to this frivolous not, of just not, that may be why we have the nine of wands here. Maybe someone just didn't think. Old woman. There's an old woman involved in this somehow. You could be getting advice from someone that's older. And then look at this. And we have an older man here with the thoughts. You might be going to people to help uh, that are older and wiser that are helping you here. Here we have someone doing a lot of thinking here. Okay, let's see what else we get here. Let's see what else we have coming out for you guys. Sexual union. A strong, passionate, physical connection with someone. All right. I don't know if someone's going to want that right now, but let's see what happens. And we have healing, a time for reflection. Prayers will help you with this situation. Okay, a lot of praying. And then we have crossroads. There is an indecision. Someone needs to make a choice. Well, 
we have the indecision all over the place. You're waiting. You want this person to make the, up their mind. And then wisdom. Let the accumulation of your life experience guide you to your decision. So someone has to make a decision. That's the whole thing here. We're waiting on a decision here. Something's crazy going on in here. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the words are. So we start with this Queen of Wands. I don't know if that's your energy and they're just very attractive and want to come to you. Or is this someone that came in between you guys? It might be different for different people. Let's see. So we have closure. Eventually. Later. Okay, There's this is going to be taken care of. There's going to be closure eventually and like later. So this is going to take a while. Okay, now where's the next person we have here? It's, this one is... Okay, this is the Page of Pentacles. Let's just scoop on this Page of Pentacles. I got two here. Love and jealousy. Ooh. Okay. Might be jealous of this. Maybe this person younger than you or younger than them or I don't know. There's something involved. We've got a younger woman. we got an older woman. So I think that's it, right? I don't have any more people over here, I don't think. No, okay, so now we just have this over here, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Let's just scoop on this Knight of Pentacles. Did I? I didn't put a... Okay, I had to put a charm on this King of Swords here. Okay, together. Insult. Apology. Okay, once you get together with this person, they're going to apologize for insulting you. Okay, what about this King of Swords? Or vice versa, whatever. Oh, this person. So... Both these cards are saying that someone wants to be with you, to settle down with you. I think in the end, you're the one that this person wants, but I don't know what's going on with this reading. Separate, third party, excited. Okay, so someone, you guys separated because of a third party. And now maybe someone's excited to come back together with you and have this um stability, I hope. I hope that's the way it goes. I think I got all the people. Well, please, guys, let me know if this makes any sense because I'm doing these readings and I feel like I'm totally in the dark. I don't know what's going on with these readings. I don't know if I'm going to do these haunted lovers again. They're too confusing for me. <laughs> but if they make sense to you and guys like them, I would definitely do them more. This is the first time I just threw the spread together. So let me know if you like it. Okay, so let's see what signs we have. Scorpio. Pisces. Cancer. Look at that. All the water signs. Okay. Gemini. There you are. Sagittarius and Virgo. Okay. So this could be placed in the earth. Well, you know, what? I didn't do. I wasn't doing letters. I'm telling you, this Mercury retrograde's got me so discombobulated. I didn't do the letters for the last readings. Okay. I'll do them for yours because. I'm, you know, Ah, okay. All right. So th this could place in your chart, place in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's see what letters we have. We have 11 letters for first um, names, for first initials, last initials of a name, um, past, present, and future, and also your own initials, and then if you have both the first and last name, if you get the middle, all the better. Okay, F, T, R, M, A, J, P, H, T, L, And N. Okay. So the letters we have are F T R M A J P H T L N. Still can't believe I didn't do the letters. Well, you know, once my my laptop fell off the stand onto my table here, I was afraid I lost my laptop. I sort of got me a little upset. So let's see here. What names do we have? Okay, so we have Dana, K 
Kathleen, Vicky, spelled V-I-K-K-I, Claire, Roxanne, Barzana, F-A-R-Z-A-N-A. -A. We have Ruby, Lamont, Crystal, Alicia, Francesina, F-R-A-N-C-E-S-S-I-N-A, -S 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 and Daryl with two R's. Okay. Twelve. All right, there's twelve names. All right, guys. Now remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please let me know if it resonates because I don't think it's going to resonate with everyone. But let me know, please. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.